Hi, this is Debbie Harry from Blondie, and you're here listening to Rodney on the Rocks on KROQ FM in Pasadena. All right, Debbie. Okay, we just heard the Buzzcocks doing uh, Say You Don't Love Me, and then um, after that, before that, we heard, um, man, where did I put my list? Oh, I'm blowing it here. Well, we, we heard a bunch of stuff, actually. <laughs> We heard the Human Hands and Dilemmas, we started that set off, and don't forget they'll be at um, the Hong Kong Cafe, on, uh, on s and they'll be there Friday actually with a Catholic Discipline and Sheena's Caminas, and then um, we're here now with Geza X. Hi. Hey, how you doing, Geza? Pretty good. Hi. Right. You're one of the, the producers who've produced like a lot of the bands, right? Yeah, I've done several local singles. Are they all, who are the local bands that you've worked with? Um, Germs, I did their first single. I did... Uh, Lexicon Devil and all that? Yeah, and Nick God and Circle One. And I did uh, The Bags. I did Three Cuts by Them that are released. Mm -hmm. And uh, The Deadbeats, I did that EP when I was in The Deadbeats. Wow. Oh. And... Uh, That's you know, right. You were one Silver of the original. Chalice, I did that recently. And uh, I done my own single. Right. You're, you're, yeah, that's right. We have played it on here before. Mm -hmm. I heard it. So what's it like? A lot of people, you know, calling me up. They want to make, put out records. They need a producer. And there's been a lot of mixed reactions about producers. A lot of people say that engineers do the producing. And I know a lot of co couple of producers who have the engineers actually did the producing. But how do you produce a record? I was engineering for years before I did any productions. And sometimes I did wind up doing the producing. Sometimes if the band doesn't know what they're doing. Or if they don't have a producer, sometimes the engineer has to wind up taking over the session, otherwise there's no session or something like that. But that's only happened occasionally. Usually the difference between a producer and an engineer, I suppose, is that an engineer operates the equipment and pretty well does what the uh, band wishes or what the uh, producer wishes. Mm -hmm. And a producer is supposed to add those little magic touches that make a record sound like a record instead of sounding like a tape. Because a lot of records, I mean a lot of tapes, even in... Uh, a decent studio can come out just sounding like a tape without the production. Well, because I know like, Phil Spector has been like the Ramones and all that. He does a whole production. He gets up on waves. He and goes way back. He goes, he goes beyond. He puts on a performance when he puts on, produces mm -hmm. a record. And I've seen how Kim Fowley produces. He, uh, the engine, he's basically out in the <laughs> hallway or on the telephone while the engineers do <laughs> everything. Mm -hmm. My approach is to be kind of uh, transparent. I don't really want to you know, necessarily leave my mark on a record. I want to make a band sound like they're playing their best possible performance. And sometimes I'd worked with bands that like weren't re very familiar with the studio or, uh, or with, you know, even playing in general. They were still new to playing. And I think that it, what I can do a lot of times is to bring out the best playing in these people. You know? Right. And you produced, uh, like, how many cuts for Danger House? You did all the bag stuff, right? Uh-huh. The yeah. one on the... Uh, Yes, L.A., and the uh, three on the single. Hmm. Or was it two on the single? I don't remember. Oh, you got so many, you can't keep up with them. <laughs> Another, the young Phil Spector, right? Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Geza X. Well, here, here's some bags that you've done, that you produced. Which one? Oh, uh, this is a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 